The video you just saw has a handheld camera effect and in today's video I'm going to show you the 5 most important factors that will help you achieve a realistic result with this effect. But before we start, if you want to see more animation tutorials in Lumion, comment animation below. I would love to know what you are interested in learning. So we are going to set up the handheld camera effect together. I'll walk you through all the movements and settings you will need. And to make things easier, I am giving away my handheld scene so you can follow along using the exact setup I'm using. You can get this scene in the description below. Once you've got it, you'll be all set to follow along as we build this realistic handheld effect. Now let's get into the first of the five important factors for achieving a realistic and health effect. Focal length. For example, if you are shooting with the latest iPhone or Samsung phone, the main camera uses a 24mm lens, which is what we'll replicate in Lumion. First, let's head over to Movie Mode. To start, click on an empty slot at the bottom, then hit Record. Click Set Eye Level at 160m. Adjust the focal length by double-clicking on the number, pressing backspace to delete it, and then typing in 24. Now we have the correct focal length. So let's add movement to simulate someone walking. Press W to move forward, then hit Add Camera Keyframe in the bottom, at the point where you want the movement to stop. If the walking speed looks too slow, you can shorten the clip length or increase the walking distance. I'll reduce mine to around 3 seconds. And now the movement feels more natural. Be sure the animation is set to linear, by checking the curve looks like this. If it's an easy curve, the animation starts and stops slowly, and we don't want that, we want consistent speed. You can see there are some books on the table. So I'll turn my camera at this point by holding the right mouse button and using the keyboard keys to set the position. Be sure to always hit the eye level at 1.6 meters to keep the height consistent. Then I'll keep the subject looking at the books for a while while creating just subtle camera movements. Like it's always holding the camera like this. Now let's add the handheld camera effect. Go to Add Effect, Camera, Handheld Camera. Then set the focal length back to 24mm. Again, everyone records with their smartphone camera vertically, right? So on the angle, set that to 90 degrees. You'll need to tilt your head a little bit to see how it's going, but that's fine. The second important factor is shake strength. This simulates the subtle movements of holding a camera while walking. I recommend starting at 100% shake strength and adjusting from there. And the third factor is timing. In Lumion, you can't directly control the duration of each sequence, so you'll need to add multiple keyframes, even for subtle changes in position. This allows the camera to stop and focus, then move forward again. This can add more focus and depth to your animation. For a more realistic effect, let's simulate the zooming in of a phone camera. When the subject looks at the books, set the keyframe with the current focal length settings which is 24. Then move the timeline a bit further and set the focal length to 120mm, which is equivalent to a 5 times zoom on an iPhone. Don't forget, we'll need to add keyframes for the shake strength as well, to simulate this zooming effect properly, and how the camera shakes at different points. Adjusting shake speed or direction variation can add realism by mimicking human hand movements. So, when the camera is zooming in, you can add a keyframe to increase the shake strength. Now, let's move on to factor number 4, motion blur. This effect mimics how a camera blurs fast movements. Add it by going to Add Effect, Animation, Motion Blur. Then adjust the settings to match the speed of the scene. I'll leave mine at 100% for now. You can see the effect it gives when the camera is moving, especially here with a faster movement. The fifth and final factor is camera imperfections. 
which add that extra level of realism and give the shot a more organic, less digital look. Go to Add Effect, Camera and add Chromatic Aberrations. I usually keep this value quite low, just enough to be visible on the edges. This will give the shot a subtle fringe around the edges. Next, add a vignetting to make the corners slightly darker, just like a real camera lens would. You can also add a touch of lens flare to bloom some highlights. Finally, adding subtle grain or noise can simulate real-world sensor noise, especially in low light. Just search on the effects Noise and then add slightly. By the way, if you want to take your renders to the next level with Lumion, you can check out my new Lumion render course. From beginner to advanced, it has everything to get you started making realistic renders with Lumion. I'll leave a link in the top right corner and in the description below this video. Now another fun thing you can do is targeting the camera to look at a specific point on your scene. On the camera handheld effect, activate look at fixed point and then click this icon to set the look at point. Let's set it in here for this picture. Now when we play the animation again, you can see it's always looking at that point. So to sum it up, the five most important factors for achieving a realistic handheld camera effect in Lumion are correct focal length, shake strength, proper timing, adding motion blur and introducing camera imperfections. If you combine this, you'll get a professional looking result. Let me know in the comments if you have tried this out and don't forget to download the handheld camera scene. It features the apartment empty so you can furnish it to your own liking. The link will be in the description. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and tap the bell icon to stay updated on future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.